All right, I'm going to start this video off. There's the new camera. It just came in on eBay. It's the same camera as mine. But I got to tell you, look how chewed up mine is. Besides being broken in the door and other things. Look, now on eBay, this camera was just $58 with tax. And it is perfect. The door is tight to open and close. The switch feels like it's never even been used. This thing is in perfect, not a scratch on it working order. The strap even looks brand new. Where if you can look at mine, <laughs> it's been riding in the dry box a long time. Had tape holding the door shut. But they are identical cameras. Well, not quite. This is a 650 and this is an 850. And so I'm going to try to finish this video. I'm going to put the camera, the new camera on the stand and uh, wrap this up. I'm back, tubers. Listen, don't forget to keep wearing your mask. We're still in the middle of a pandemic and uh, it's not going to get over until everybody grows up, wears a mask, and you might even have to get vaccinated. I'm just giving you the heads up in the real world. But let's get back to what this video is really about. You just saw, if I did it right, a picture of the new camera. And basically, I've replaced my uh, Sony video camera, it's a 650, with a, an 850, but it's the same camera. Same 60 power zoom, uh, burn a DVD. And the reason I picked the same camera is I love that optical 60 power zoom. Works great for me. And you catch something good of your friends doing, you can burn a DVD and say, here, take this home with you. Uh, what I really want to comment about though is the new camera that you saw I purchased on eBay from, I just picked somebody who had it, and it was only $54 plus tax, free shipping. It arrived a week later, and I'm sure the camera, the pictures I got, don't do it justice. This thing is brand new. It was listed as good to excellent, and it only came with a battery, none of the other extras. But see, I've still got everything from this camera, including the correct manual. See, and this has autofocus. See how nice it just whoosh, right in? 99% of the filming that I'm doing is just pick it up, point, do some shooting. This camera is great for that. Uh, do I wish it had a few extra bells and whistles? Maybe, but if you want black and white or you want to do this, at, the right editing software should be able to take care of these problems that a simple camera will uh, do. Now, the other thing is, this is not 4K. I am shooting high quality with this. Well, with this camera, I've been shooting standard quality. But I've decided I'm going to try the high quality setting cuts down time but with the chip and the internal memory I'm fine but uh, yeah I think I'd much rather get something that I'm happy with works great Fra the new car the new camera was like 500 bucks if I remember correctly with all the junk you can't beat it and these guys have given me a 180 day warranty I could have bought a one year for ten dollars but no, really, really a good deal. Got the camera and a battery, which is all I need because I've got the chargers, the adapters, all the other crap. I've got the actual Sony software on my computer, and I've already tried downloading movies. I guess the only thing I haven't done is tried uh, shooting on the DVD and then playing it back, and I will make a test video there for myself. I just don't understand how somebody, look at my camera, okay, how chewed up it is, the labels, everything. See, 
I have this box that's padded. Ugh. Waterproof case. And this is where I keep it when I'm traveling, running around. But when it's time to go on the river, <coughs> it just bounces around in here with no padding and whatever lunch crap I've decided to throw in. So it lives a rough life. That's why the outside of this camera looks chewed. When they said good to excellent condition, I was not expecting. Even the switches on this camera are tight. I'm starting to get sold on buying some stuff from eBay. This was a good deal and I'm very satisfied. Anyways, you're looking to get a camera, consider going on to eBay instead of going to Best Buy.